We have already looked at what respiration is and we defined it as a process where energy is actually released. Now, let's have a look at the types of respiration, namely aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Glucose is a six carbon atom compound. It is a simple food that is oxidized in the cells of living organisms. The oxidation of pyruvic acid or called pyruvate is called glycolysis. Pyruvic acid is a carbon atom and it is also a ketonic carboxylic acid. It does not require oxygen and occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. One molecule of glucose on glycolysis produces two molecules of pyruvate. If oxygen is present in a cell, then the pyruvate is completely dissolved and a lot of energy is produced. If there is no oxygen available, then the pyruvate is converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide called lactic acid and less energy is released. Lactic acid is also called lactate. It is a hydroxycarboxylic acid. There are two types of respirations because respiration is important and plays a vital role in the life process of organisms, whether it be plants or animals. The two types are aerobic, which uses oxygen, and anaerobic, which does not. Have a look at aerobic respiration. Aerobic simply means with air, meaning it involves the use of oxygen that's present in the air. Food, which is glucose, is broken down into carbon dioxide and water by oxidation. Aerobic respiration produces a considerable amount of energy for use by the organisms. This energy gets stored in the ATP or the adenosine triphosphate molecules. The breakdown of glucose in organisms is shown by the following equation. A one molecule of glucose produces two molecules of pyruvate or pyruvic acid. This comes from the process of glycolysis in the cytoplasm. And oxygen in mitochondria now, upon combination, produces carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Animals require food to live or to survive, and their energy comes from the food that they eat. The site for aerobic respiration takes place in the mitochondria in the presence of oxygen. Here, the pyruvic acid is broken down to release carbon dioxide, water, energy, and that energy is then utilized by the organism for carrying out its own activities. Anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic simply means without air, and this means that the mode of respiration here does not require oxygen. Microscopic organisms like yeast and bacteria obtain their energy by anaerobic respiration. They do so by a process known as fermentation. Yeast breaks down glucose from the food into ethanol and carbon dioxide and releases energy. It's an example over here saying when you're baking or trying to make bread, you mix yeast in the flour with warm water and then after a number of hours, you find that the dough for the bread has risen up considerably because the carbon dioxide gas is trying to actually escape from within the dough. The energy is also given out, which is used by the microscopic organism, which is the yeast. As a result, anaerobic respiration produces less energy which gets stored by the ATP molecules. The breakdown of glucose during anaerobic respiration carried by yeast in plants is shown below. One molecule of glucose along with two molecules that are being formed by the glycolysis that takes place in the cytoplasm with the absence of oxygen helps fermentation to take place. The end product is basically ethanol, carbon dioxide, and energy. Though animals obtain their energy by aerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration can take place in the muscles. When we exercise, 
or we go around walking a lot or running, our body tends to use up a lot of oxygen. This oxygen that is supplied to the various parts of our body comes through the blood vessels. When we are specifically working on a certain muscle part, what happens is that muscle part gets worked up because not enough oxygen is being supplied to it. There is less energy that is being converted from the glucose and food and the energy that is being converted turns into lactic acid. This lactic acid that builds up, it ends up in the muscles because they are deprived of oxygen and as a result it causes cramps. The muscles that have been cramped can then be relieved by massaging or by taking a hot water bath so that the oxygen due to the movement of the blood can reach the body part. What is the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration? Aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen while anaerobic does not. There is a complete breakdown of food in aerobic respiration where in anaerobic is just a small and a partial breakdown. Waste products in aerobic respiration are carbon dioxide and water while in anaerobic the end products can be ethanol and carbon dioxide or lactic acid. A considerable amount of energy is produced in aerobic respiration whereas in the case of anaerobic respiration less energy is produced. I hope you have enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash arrangeacademy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Academy. Thank you.